Veronica. Happy birthday to you. There's a whole week in there. You know? It usually takes two weeks to get out, but. It's not the end of the month. All right. Get on, what are we doing? Yeah, yeah. Monday pod. Hey, yo. Get on, let's have a conversation off air, man. What's the point? <laughs> Yeah, don't not, waste, not not recording. You don't waste your words mm. if it's not being recorded. We just sit in silence when we're not on air. Because mm. yeah. we can't talk. No. Sometimes I ring you and just like, don't speak. Sit in silence. It's kind of weird, actually. Save like, it for the show. This? Who it. is this? You're scaring me and the family. <laughs> no, I just hang up. That's what most women say when Lutzy rings. <laughs> oh, whoa. Scaring me and the family. Kindle, <laughs> oh, dear. Anyway, um, that's a bit of fun, wasn't it? That was good. <laughs> Um, what else is happening, everyone? Well, you, uh, I have to say, David, you pulled up remarkably chipper. I from cannot... what I can only assume was a big weekend. Your voice doesn't even sound like I... you, uh, that you were out on the tiles at all. It makes no sense because Elle was a bit crook after Saturday night because we went out, you know, to all hours and then... What time did you go out till Saturday night? Talk me through everything happened after the game Saturday. Like, did did you go... What, what uh, happened? We went... So, after the game, went to, uh, you know, watched, wait till the boys came around and high five on the side of the field and then um, went to the official function. Official function didn't start till seven, so found a bar. Where was that? There. Uh, there's a new function space just near the... Well, newish, right next to the MCG. It's weird. Last year they booked a big room at the Crown. Yeah, this was a big room. Okay. It was like a, it was like you were at the um, like in a convention, convention center. center. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Yep. It's called Centerpiece. It's next to the okay. MCG now. Um, were you there last year? By the way, out of just um, out I of have interest no in, recollection. In contrast, no. He right. didn't go to the official after party. He no. was at a different after party. Oh, all right. Where do you remember where I went? Because I have no idea. You, it was kind of in the MCG. You went to that thing for a while. <sighs> Don't remember that. Yeah. Yep. He went downstairs to another party in the MCG. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was like Monster. Yeah. Yes. Monster, Did you the come to energy that? drink. No. Oh, that was fun. You I just wanted to, to go to the Lions after party in the Crown. But I wasn't invited to that. I well, think. I know, but I was like, we will get in. Yeah. We will go up there. Jeez, I'll tell you what, it wasn't, it wasn't easy getting into things. Well, this year it wouldn't have been because everyone loves a bandwagon. So it's like. Yeah, it was not easy. Like, we had to. Yeah, you know, work hard to get wristbands and stuff like mm. that. But anyway, and so then went to that, stayed at that probably till they ran out of booze, was which that, would have been 11 or was something. Was that all the players and stuff too? The players rocked up, did a stage thing, and then they had a private area at that function where you could sort of, you know, eventually you got to mingle with them a bit. Had a cool moment with Lockie Neal. He came out and sat in the public area. And it was kind of like Father Christmas meets a dictator. It was like, <laughs> <laughs> he just sitting there, some bloke, and I went, oh, shit. I said, yeah, Lockie's over there. Oh, I haven't even seen him yet. And I was like, oh, man, he's sitting there on this couch. He's talking, you know, some of my fans talking to him. And then I just went, you, you, mate, point at him. And he went, oh. and then he went, he just gave me the one finger. Come here. <laughs> Call me over. Yeah. Oh, it's your turn, buddy. And I gave him a big hug. He said, I love you, man. Oh, I love you too. So unreal. Wow. Blah, blah. Pretty cool. And That's then, unreal. And then sort of. That's epic, actually. That's a real Pretty name cool. drop. What was he? moment he, drop. Yeah. What was he? Well, was yeah. he was he showered up and everything by that stage? Yeah, the white. Business shirt on by that stage with the jersey on over the top. Which we then call we, a Guernsey. In a Guernsey, AFL. sorry, yeah, Guernsey. Thank you. Um, and then I went, and then the word got out that because the kid, uh, Harry Sharp, who I felt sorry for, but he was, he was the first emergency, he didn't get to play, but still was part of it, and yada, yada, yada. The kid was like, Yeah, we're going to this pub. So, uh, and then we like, got there, and we got there early, but didn't have the wristband yet. Waited for the bus arrived, then we 
you know, you know wristbands, wristbands, we get wristbands, bang, we got into that one, and party there. That's where I saw Simon Black and Jonathan Brown. I didn't see that picture you sent me of Brownie. Like, that's how bad the um, stuff Reception. is. At, at, at Port- I, didn't, I didn't get that picture oh, I, until I got off the ferry yesterday it, it morning. It came up oh. as like a weird thing. Like, yeah. Not a picture, but like a Yeah, file. I could see that you'd sent me something yeah. when I woke up yesterday morning because I, I couldn't see. that. So that was... A, like, I think you sent that at, like, one o'clock in the morning or something. Yeah. So you're st- with Brownie and Brownie, everyone's just yeah. on it. And yeah, it's... Blackie was there as well. Did you see Acker? Because Acker sent me a thing too. Acker like... was sitting right near where I was, and we, were, we couldn't find each other. And we were texting during the game, but didn't see Acker. Right. Um, well, he, yeah, he was definitely there. Yeah. And then we switched to another pub where, the, where they had a private upstairs area and was there till, I think, 3.30. And then went back to... Because I was room with Al, just went back there and drank there. Where were you staying? W. Is, is that right near is that... CBD? Everything's so close yeah. down there. Like I love you could that. We walk any, to the G. Yeah, yeah you, you could walk pick yeah. just about any yeah. hotel in the yeah. city, and you'll walk so to good, the G. Hey. There's one hotel though that is like sort of on right, Jollymont Road, yeah. right, right there, right opposite is it the, the Pullman. MC- yeah, the Pullman, Pullman overlooks the MCG. Correcto yeah. Mundo. Yeah, yeah, that's a like that's a great place to stay. Where was the team? Were they at the Crown? They were at the Crown last year. Um, Crown? I remember seeing a photo of that Cameron... Um, Charlie? That Charlie Cameron posted with his boots. With You can see the G in the oh, background. Oh, yeah, yeah. So maybe he's the Pullman. Was that, was that with the, I don't yeah, know. They were staying at the Pullman. They were at the Pullman, yeah, the Pullman yeah, this year. Yeah, okay. They were at the Pullman. Yeah, last... I, I dropped in just to like find a bathroom on the day before, and I see the team walking out for captain's run. I'm like, oh, there they are. Yeah, okay. Last year, I literally was like, where are the teams staying? And I will book that hotel. So mm. I paid through the nose to stay at the Crown because I just wanted to be where they were. Yeah, Pretty right. Pretty cool. Yeah, the Pullman. Well, well I, I, I remember I went down uh, years ago for... Melbourne Storm played the North Queensland Cowboys in a prelim final or one a final I can't remember which, but uh, it was when JT was playing and we stayed at the Pullman. I was down there with Sid and got up in the morning and there's the Cowboys having brekkie in the it, so they yeah, the, I, I reckon that the uh, teams might stay. Well, it's the easiest one. Yeah, it was so easy. Like you said, you go to the captain's run, you just walk across the yeah. road. Well, was that game at the G? No, no, it was it was, Amy at, Park. It, it was at Amy, Amy Park, Park, but that's yeah. close enough too. Yeah, so yeah, that, it's that, all, that it's all more connected precinct. than I even remember it being. Yeah. Like when we went to that centerpiece where the post match function yeah. was, it's so easy. And, and like we literally walked out a centerpiece. I'm like, shit, there's Rod Laver Arena right yeah. on top of you. Like it's all well, closer so, than I even remember. And Mutsy, it. don't forget that on top of that, so that that's where so they have, good. They have so the Grand Prix too. Well, yeah, I know. So the well Grand Prix designed. circuit is there. And not to harp on, but we do have an opportunity to design some oh, cool stuff. Thank you, Kendall. Okay. Yes, I know. I'm gunning for Vic mm. Park. Let's actually build something that connects to everything. Yes. Yeah. Has to happen. Has to happen. Yeah. I think it's going there. But now, I backed Lockie Neal mm. for, oh, yeah. for the Norm for Smith. For the Norm Smith. Yeah, I thought I got, he was going to win it. I th- really? I, I, know no, I know nothing about I thought AFL. Kyle Loman was going to get it. Yeah, I thought Kyle Loman was Even go. Cal Archie, who had a blinder last mm. week. Well, he kicked that just, four as well. It just could yeah. have been it could yeah. six different players in the team could have been yeah. any of them. But Lockie could have been one of them. Yeah, yeah 30, definitely. 35 touches in definitely. the end. And he just he played this beautiful sort of sweeping quarterback role mm. all day long, a lot more outside than he normally does. Yeah. But I had a beautiful view from level four down the, good down, the, down the ground. So you could just sort of watch it like almost yeah, strategically. You're on a nice angle, but yeah. you're higher than me. Right behind the goals, you're yeah. You're perfect. Yeah. That's yeah, where he, we were last year. I reckon it was a good view. Good you can actually see what's going on. He's, he's, he's like a bull magnet, isn't he? Like the, oh, the, the, it the, comes to his fingers as but, if it's attracted to him. Yeah, it's, it's like just, it, the ball will just bounce and it's like, oh, you know which way the ball bounces? bounce? Yeah, it'll bounce to wherever Lockie yeah. Neal is. Yeah, well, like to it, wherever his hands are. Just goes straight in there. Well, he talks about his like, thousand touches he does a week with the footy and you realise the speed that he does it and how easy he made it look yesterday. Yeah. You look at the footage and you go, that was incredibly hard to do. Yeah. And the fact that he was playing, you know, with plantar fasciitis for the last two months, painkiller yeah. injections I every know. week. I, I, so I think he, has, has he been getting needled? He has been getting yeah. needled. Like, he, even Fag said after the game that he would not have been out there without those injections. Yeah. Wow. That's all right. He's got a premiership and some time off to put yeah. the foot up. Absolutely. I wonder what the, I wonder what the go is now. Like, they'll, they'll party on until they've got their... How long of a holiday do they get? Uh, they will probably won't go back to training till. Uh, maybe November, they'll go on like holiday, then they'll have their... Well, the footy players don't really get to holiday per se anymore. Like nowadays, they're, they're such professionals. That I don't know. They went to Vegas last year. They, they, they've got their running blocks. They've got everything that they have to do because they all want to get better. Like even um, young Ashcroft in his press conference afterwards says, 
yeah, I can't wait to start preseason his tomorrow. His work rate's insane, He's different. though. He is different. Yeah. yeah, he'll be exciting to watch in the years ahead. And his little brother is coming. I know. Who is so, supposed to be better. Yeah, better, better than better, Will. Right? I know, just mental. Like he would have been, the would have Ashcroft gone number one gene. draft, but because he's the father-son real yep. right, he probably yeah. won't go where go. No, it yeah. doesn't need to go number one because yeah. mm. um, no one will, no, the Lions will match whatever bid. The good news in. is because Will's had that success at the Lions as well and obviously father-son, like he's going to want to come play for us. Sure. You know what yeah. I mean? Like the, the lure of a Melbourne club yeah. is not going to cut no. it when we're premiers. How does that father-son work uh, rule work if your father played for multiple clubs? Uh, well, it, so you have to want to play 100 games for a club. 100 games. Yep. 100 and games. So um, wow. Josh Dunkley, whose dad played for Sydney, he played in the 1996 grand final. Now, when he got drafted, uh, the Sun, uh, sorry, the Swans didn't choose to take him. They didn't want to take him with the pick. The Bulldogs matched their pick. He goes to the Bulldogs, wins a premiership over there. So the Swans missed out on Dunkley, really? who was theirs to take. Wow. So yeah. nuts. Hmm. Crazy. How did Lockie end up? Didn't Port let Lockie go? Oh, is that, that going to go down as one of the dumbest decisions in the history of... of... No, Frio have made some bad choices over the years. Is that he, he was yeah, with yeah, so he won, he won two best and fairest they over, had over there. They had him. He had two best and fairest. He was the sub in the 2013 grand final. And I think he was just looking for... He was behind Nate Fife, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And Nate that, that Fife was at the peak of his powers there as well. Yeah. So he couldn't be the number one midfielder. This gave him the opportunity and... And Lockie's from Perth, isn't he? He's South Australia. Or Jules, Jules is, Jules from, is Perth, from Perth, yeah. his wife. So they've got pretty strong ties yeah. over there. So mm. coming to Brisbane yeah. was like rogue. No, for them. Faith, yeah. no, no family, connections here, no, nothing. Like tough going. And they and started and having kids and stuff. Yeah. So that, I mean, family... Made becomes, down yeah. roots, yeah. yeah. It's their daughter's birthday today. So oh, really? Lucky and Jules' daughter, she turned three. Oh, there you go. And we get that beautiful crying photo out from, <laughs> from earlier in the year. <laughs> and when, she, when his daughter, he carried his daughter off after yeah, his milestone day, screaming. Yeah, screaming. Right. Yeah. You guys took the photo uh, a couple of days later with him. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yes. I forgot about that.